Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm using these Starlight Mints and the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the plastic from all the mints. I decided to remove the wrapper from all the mints because I thought that my projects would look better without the plastic, but I later found out that this glue does not adhere to the mints very well. So if you guys are going to recreate this project, then use a stronger adhesive. I repeated this step three more times and then I had something that looked like this. I love how these peppermint coasters turned out and of course I suggest leaving them in the wrapper. I'm using these two cones for my Christmas tree and this line right here will be positioned to the back. And I'm just gluing my mints around both cones and these ones don't have the wrapper on it because I had some left over and I just wanted to use these to get these out the way before proceeding with my next projects. For this next step, I took a couple of clear gems and a couple of red gems and I put them all together in the shape of a star for the top of my Christmas trees. I ended up gluing an extra mint at the top and of course I suggest leaving the mints in the wrappers and I think these peppermint Christmas trees turned out perfect but tell me what you guys think down in the comments. For this next project this is just a regular old Amazon box that I glued down and I painted with my snow titanium white acrylic paint and I'm leaving the wrapper on for this project and I'm just going to glue all the mints all over my box. As you guys can see, I'm making sure that the mint is pushed all the way to one side, then gluing it down. Now I'm gluing some of these silver and red beaded necklaces around the perimeter of my box. I decided to incorporate some of this old ribbon that I had left over from last year's project.
for this last step, I'm going to glue this bow on top of my present and then remove any excess glue strings and then here's the finished look. This is an old coffee mug that I never even used and no longer need it and it's basically self-explanatory. I'm gluing all the mints to the outside of the coffee mug and of course this is not meant to be used. This is only for decoration purposes only. To make this pop a little more, I'm gluing this red beaded necklace to the handle and the rim of the cup. For this final project, I have these two 3 by 4 inch vases and I'm basically just going to glue the peppermints around both vases. Once I was done with my second vase, I then had something that looked like this. I think this week's projects turned out pretty good. Let me know which projects you guys like best. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.